coroutines are something in Roblox Studio that allows us to manage multiple threads in our scripts. Right, so without coroutines, and we try to run this, and we want both of these loops to run, we want both of them to print OK and OK2, and we actually run this, you will see that only the first OK is being printed because this is going uh, over and over again printing OK, but it's never reaching down here. Now this is where quarantines and new threads may come into use. If I easily wrap our first piece of code into a new quarantine and then saying quarantine.resume and putting in our quarantine, printing this again, we'll see that both of them are being printed, both OK and OK too. So quarantines can be really useful. Now, something with coroutines is that it is not, and I mean literally not running on different threads, right? It, it's still running, you know, on different threads, but not like what I mean internally. Quarantines and stuff like task.spawn give the impression that these pieces of code are running in parallel because parallel uh, allows us to run these on actually different threads. But in reality, you know, this code is being resumed one at a time by the task scheduler uh, so it's not actually in parallel so the main reason these are not in parallel well they you know is what is going on internally so parallel the uh, threads that are run in parallel are actually ran on different CPU cores these are not so allowing if we run stuff code and threads in parallel and also using the event connection uh, connect parallel we can run our code on different CPU threads so it's actually in parallel so if you wanted to speed up a demanding task like uh, terrain generation you can do that with parallel because it is actually splitting up the task on different uh, cores or you can also think of it as workers to make that terrain generation faster so parallel threads are being ran on multiple CPU cores or, or you know you can call them CPU threads and running new threads on with task.spawn and quarantine and all that does not actually split it it runs a different thread yes but it's not uh, like a CPU thread where it's actually internally dividing the work and actually using parallel uh, Lua and Roblox well it's really simple you can uh, connect parallel use this method as I gone over in a previous video and immediately connect the whole event into parallel but you can also if you want to call it you would have to put a your script into an actor and this actor will allow you to make you know you have your regular connection and then you can then split that connection uh, by saying or like split the code by saying task as desynchronize or desync this allows us to you know split or you know desynchronize the code into parallel and then saying task.synchronize again to run it back into for the code to be run in serial now there's kinda of a gotcha when using parallel in Roblox and so basically while calling certain things in Roblox Roblox will not allow us to call certain functions, uh, you know, in certain stuff of the Roblox API while the code is being run in parallel. And we can actually see this in our code. So I have my script and actor here, and I'm also going to insert a module script in replicated storage. And I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm going to go back to my script, and I'm going to get my module script by saying this, and everything works fine. But calling require in parallel is considered not safe by Roblox so since our script is in an actor we can call desync to put in parallel and if we actually try to run this we will see Roblox says require you know one of the many functions cannot be used during the parallel phase but something we actually can do is make like a local function and like call it calculations or something I think I just, hold on let me and so we're doing some complex math or like you know a loop that runs a lot of times or something and then it does like a lot of math result math dot like square square root of I or you know and then printing when it's done or something uh, you know just 
more complex math and figuring out calculations is mainly for what Parallel is trying to achieve and trying to split the work up of. Because doing the same loop uh, 10,000 times and doing whatever else you would have in that loop can be really expensive. So Parallel allows us to basically uh, break that task up into different CPU threads. But there wouldn't be really a use for using task.spawn here because it just spawns a new thread and runs it. We're not where we are. There's no real use to using different threads like task.spawn because we're not trying to run. You know, it, it wouldn't really make sense if you know what I'm saying because we're not really. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just there's not really a use case for using coroutines here to try to split this up because that's not really what the threads actually do and help with because the main job of quarantines is you can yield resume your your new threads and the current thread you're on but parallel helps us to allow task to run on actually separate threads and it's taking advantage of those multiple cpu cores that we can run those on and this you know this just provides for making more threads on the same script and pausing resuming those but parallel is mainly for splitting work up so here uh, is th this is still running on the main thread so even if you try to use core teams to break this into chunks and yield between them the task would you know it would still it would still be the same amount of CPU time to get this done I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here is because there is a quite a big difference between running threads in parallel and actually just making new threads using task.spawn and quarantines to pause and resume those because that whole task library is not to optimize your game well maybe but it's to deal with the different making different threads but parallel actually can help us run things faster on completely separate cpu cores and yeah guys this was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace